Hello and welcome to What the Football. We are back again with yet another video. And Nottingham Forest, they're done, aren't they? They're done, aren't they? Uh, before I carry on, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Nottingham Forest are now bottom of the league and they've got a worse goal difference than Bournemouth. Staggering. You, never, you would not have thought that a couple of weeks ago. Um, gone are the days of Brian Clough, Peter Taylor and Des Walker. Actually, Brian Clough. God, Forest relegated 93, but... But you get the point, you get the point. Um, first of all, credit to Leicester City, uh, because the pressure really was on Brennan Rodgers tonight. Uh, not normally a manager to take criticism and actually thrive from it, but fair play to him. Um, I think, to be honest with you, he had exactly the right game tonight, the right team at the right time, uh, a team that are actually far worse than his. Everyone thought that Bournemouth would be the season's pushovers, including myself, um, but Forrest, with their history... Their legacy and their reputation are actually a shadow of the aforementioned nouns. Um, I worry for Steve Cooper, and I also feel feel a bit sorry for him to be um, to be quite honest with you. I worry for him when the under sanctions all these signings. It's clear who the real manager of the team is, not the club, but the team. And when the players aren't performing on the pitch, you know what the result will be. And that is the inevitable. I also feel sorry for him because most of these players were probably bought by the owner without the consent of the manager. Simple as. I mean, which means Steve Cooper probably doesn't know who half these players are, what their strengths and weaknesses are. And for a team fighting relegation, that's not a good sign. Because I think he's a really good manager. I think he's a very, very good manager, Steve Cooper. I think he's done a really good job. I think he did a brilliant job last year because I knew where Forrest were when, they, when, when he came in. Had a lot of young players and their young British players, pretty much fit into the style and the philosophy where which he pretty much had when he was the young when he was the England manager. Obviously, he was the England um, coming from the under seventeens or the under twenties manager. He likes to uh, play young players because he obviously didn't have a choice, of course. But he kind of gets what it means to get him motivated. So you know, I think they probably could have gone with that model again, to be totally honest with you, but. When you got a manager who thinks he's... When you got a, a owner, sorry, who thinks he knows best, that's a real problem. I listened to Graeme Sinners today on um, Talk Sport, talking about the Brighton manager, and I think something along the line... I think something somewhere along the line he mentioned his time in Torino, where he was promised quite a bit, and when he got there, he realised he had about 18 new players, and it's like, that's not quite what I wanted, but there we go. I digress. Um... You talk about some of the players as well, some of the players that aren't actually performing. I didn't actually I didn't actually realise Serge Aurier was actually playing for Nottingham Forest. Um, I didn't realise he signed for them. Uh, they've got that Renan Lodi, uh, Lodi, who I thought was actually brilliant when he played against Manchester United last year in the Champions League. But what do I know? Uh, a couple of players I'm going to mention. Uh, Dean Henson, man with the ego of Manuel Neuer and the ability of Lampard era Kepa Arisa Balaga. A man who left Manchester United because he didn't want the manager to realise how good he actually was. Which is staggering, really. If you want them, if you're sl slagging the club off because you're not getting games, you'd want to get games, surely. But the weird one. Uh, Nico Williams, a player that pres probably thinking to himself, you know what? I could be playing against Rangers tomorrow. Because I think Trent Alexander-Arnold needs dropping or needs resting at the very least. I think resting's a a kind of way of saying dropping. And I think Nico Williams probably would have played. He's probably thinking, God, I could be swapping Champions League football for the championship. It was his choice, to be fair. Uh, Jesse Lingard. How can a player, when you talk about Jesse Lingard, how can a player who was signed on a free be considered probably the, the worst signing of the season. How is that possible? I think the right was on the wall with Jesse Lingard, and I think the right was on the wall with Nottingham Forest as soon as Jesse Lingard went to Nottingham Forest. I don't think Jesse Lingard's the type of player that fights. He never came to cross, uh, across to me at Manchester United as the type of player that would fight. Yes, he presses. He's got a lot of energy, but once he's down in the dumps, he's not the kind of guy that would galvanise a team. And he's probably the most experienced player in that team in regards to Premier League football. Because he's played at the highest level, he's played at World Cups, and, and he didn't actually play at the Euros, but he's played for England in, in international tournaments. So he's got that experience, and it just isn't working for Jesse Lingard. And I do feel really, really sorry for him, but he he'd have gone to West Ham. 
and played European football every week. But that's his fault. What now for Steve Cooper? I think that's the question now. What now for Steve Cooper? Um, he'll probably be going in his local DIY store uh, buying bottles before he goes to training tomorrow because his time might be up in Nottingham Forest. Um, a shame for one of the most brightest young coaches in British football. Played some of the most exciting football last season in the Championship and in the FA Cup. Let's not forget how good they were in the FA Cup. I'm not going to say he's going to get sacked, but with the only that Nottingham Forest had got, with that scattergun approach, I wouldn't be surprised. That's all I've got to say on the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the video. Remember, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Take care.